migraine is a genetic tendency for headache if you have certain genetic predisposition you are uh, having certain genes which will trigger headache once exposed to certain, certain triggering substances which can be different for different people it is a genetic predisposition of certain individuals towards headache if you have got some bad genes so there is some some triggering uh, substances or triggering events and you are predisposed to headaches due to your genetic predisposition migraine has uh, a whole lot of constellation of symptoms it starts probably uh, a day or two before actual headache so it encompasses many symptoms other than headache the initial one or two days prior to headache patient may feel tiredness fatigue maybe irritability mood disturbances and then there comes headache which is often accompanied by nausea or vomiting patient prefers to lie in a quiet room because there is photophobia and many patients have a post drone phase where uh, there is mood disturbances and fatigue after headache subsides migraine is something which is not synonymous with headache it is much more than headache migraine is a totally clinical diagnosis no test can confirm migraine so you have certain constellation of symptoms which fit into the diagnosis a doctor may or may not advise a brain imaging if he at all advises it it is to rule out other dangerous things like probably a stroke tumor or something triggering or mimicking migraine so migraine is overall a clinician's diagnosis it is totally diagnosed based on clinical symptoms and signs it has a very wide uh, age range even children as young as 6 years 8 years can have migraine if there is genetic predisposition for adults i have seen uh, migraine to be first time diagnosed in 50 years of age but probably in those cases we have to rule out other things with imaging and all because many a times a tumor or a stroke in elderly they present as migraine they mimic migraine so clinically a patient has nothing except migraine as symptoms with the age we found it uh, a, a bit odd to have migraine at this age to be first time diagnosed but then again in our country many a times uh, migraine is very much misdiagnosed as uh, some acidity problem or sinus problem so we see cases which are diagnosed late but the symptom onset at a very later age later than 50 60 is very uncommon there will be two aspects one is preventive aspects so and one will be once the headache starts or the migraine attack starts so for the preventive phase uh, there would be some identified triggers and there would be some triggers which have not been still date identified triggers differ in different people so there are standard set of triggers but even that set may not be complete for uh, total population the first thing if you have a identified trigger for migraine try to avoid that that is first thing second would be that even if you are having a migraine attack so it is preferable to avoid the sensory triggers which will actually increase the morbidity of a patient so if uh, you are not preferring light to stay in a quiet switch off the quiet room switch off the lights and stay still till your attack subsides or if uh, your doctor has prescribed some medicine uh, for the migraine attack termination do not hesitate to take it once the migraine attack starts because after a migraine attack is very well established this medicines probably won't be that much effective okay so 
uh, you have to take it as soon as probably the migraine attack starts, uh, sooner the better. And second thing is, do not take over-the-counter medications. These medications, unsupervised and unprescribed medications can often lead to some entity like medication overuse headache. So the initial headache may probably be well controlled, but these medications have side effects. They uh, change the brain circuitry in such a way that the pain continues. That is known as medication overuse headache. So over-the-counter medication is totally no-no in case of migraine patients. Does migraine stay life long? So it is a genetic tendency of headache. So a tendency cannot be aborted. So migraine is probably to stay lifelong. But then again, it has fluctuations, of course. There are some phases where migraine attacks are frequent and severe. And spontaneously, there are phases where migraine attacks are lesser and less severe. But it is likely to stay forever. The preventive therapies are to sail you through your bad phases, basically. Migraine treatment will be divided into something like abortive treatment. Once an attack starts, there are abortive treatments where we can use uh, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, which are commonly known as painkillers. Uh, there are certain painkillers which have lesser potential for abuse, so they are preferred. Often associated with it are uh, anti emetic because patients have vomiting tendency, like domperidone, we are using it. And there are some mi migraine specific drugs, this group of medications. And there are some newer drugs have come into the pipeline, which are not very freely available till now, but they are effective in cases which are resistant to these common drugs. So, this will be the abortive effect. And then again, what I have mentioned that avoid the stimulation which you cannot tolerate during that event, being in a quiet room, being in a uh, dark room probably helps to terminate the effect and good sleep. In most cases, good sleep terminates an acute attack. Next step would be what are the preventive therapies? So avoid triggers as much as possible. Try to identify triggers which are specific for your headache and try to avoid them. There are some common triggers. Preferably do not expose yourself to them. Do not hesitate to consult a neurologist in cases of any problem or if your controlled headache is getting uncontrolled recently and do not practice self-medication or over-the-counter medication. This does not help in migraine.